Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So listen line, uh, the second part of uh, the extension rules. In this lesson, we are going to do a quick recap and inshallah, we're going to go to uh, the other, some of the other uh, types that we described last time. Uh, these are the other extension uh, sections. Uh, we talked a little bit uh, about three of the types of these uh, Al-Qasr or no more than normal uh, extension. Now, inshallah, we're going to go into these three uh, today. What we had, this is a quick recap that we had definition of the extension or med, which is saying the letter more than normal, more than normal, and then the extension letters, alif, waw, ya, sakina, or stable and previous with the same movement, or something we called a soft letter or harf or lean. We did not uh, have anything to do with this uh, last lesson. I think this lesson we're not going to go into harf or lean except for one detail, but inshallah next lesson we're going to, uh, to do separate type for this kind of extension letters. Then we discuss the amounts, we def defined al-haraka or the movement, and we defined the fixed amounts that we do the extension with. Two movements, which is the normal uh, extension, then three, four, five, and six. We went into the sections, we uh, we made four uh, sections for the extensions. The first one is must do. The reciters agreed that there is extension more than normal and the amount of extension is also agreed about. Al-wajib or duty, uh, they agreed that there is extension more than normal but the amount is different. Uh, they did not agree to uh, agree on the amount in this one, and then al is they did not agree if you need to do more than normal or not, and also the amount is not uh, fixed. And the last one we we discussed last time was the norm no more than normal extension. So you just do the two uh, movements uh, extension. So we have uh, discussed three of these no more than normal, three types. The normal one, at tabii maddul badal, always said uh, the allowance, and then maddul aywad, or the compensation, the normal one we discussed. Uh, maddul badal, we said every extended hamza, we do two movement like here, amanu, al aywad, we compensating that and we in fatha when we stop, so here it will be ali ma, so here two movements. Inshallah, today we are going to go into al-lazim, al-wajib, and one of uh, al-jaiz, or the possible extension. So we start, this is the new uh, information we're, we're going to start for this lesson. So we're going to start with this one, al maddu al-lazim. And as you can see, the section name and the type name are the same. This is not the case in the others. So here, the section is called al-lazim and the type is called al-lazim. And going back to uh, the poetry, we always go back to Muqaddimatul uh, Imam al-Jazari. He said, falazimun, he is continuing. If you remember last time we took line uh, 69, which is defining uh, the sections of the Tanween. And then he started to describe every section. So now in line 70, we have Falazimun, which is the first one. Falazimun in Jaa Bada Harfi Mad Sakinu Halaini Wabituri Yumad. We are going to go into this inshallah. So the must do extension or a maddul lazim. This we will translate that into English. So this will be if there is a stable letter in all the situations stopping or continuing. Here is called Sakinu Halaini. Sakinu uh, Hailaini, he it is stable in the both cases, stopping and continuing. 
after the extension letter. So we have an extension letter and then we have a stable letter after it. Then we must do an extension here and the amount of this extension is six movements. This is the only extension that needed to be done six movements, which means this is the longest. And as we discussed last time, six movements is the time you take to say, yeah, Musa, as we discussed last time. So yeah, Musa, say this time took uh, half a second, then you need to do an extension. When you find this uh, extension type, you need to do it half a second. Yeah. There is a note here that we discussed more than one time through the course uh, that the letter with Shadda actually can be uh, can be looked at as two letters. So if I have ba with shadda, that means that I have two letters. The first one is ba sakina, stable, and the second one is a moving with the movement on the shadda. Yeah. Why I am saying this? I'm saying this because most of the must do extension or maddil lazim is an extension letter, and then we have a letter with shadda after. Because the letter is shadda, the first one of the two letters is a stable letter, which means it follows this. So an extension letter, and then we have a stable letter after, which is the first one of the, the letter with shadda. We are going to go into examples, inshallah. So the first example is the word al-ana. Al-ana. This is the, the must do extension. Why? Because we have an extension letter. What's the extension letter? Is alif, and before it, a letter that has the same movement, which is fatha in this case. So this is called extension letter, and then we have a stable letter after. Then this one is a must do extension. And this word is the only word that has a stable letter like this, not a letter with shadda, in the whole Quran after stable letter, uh, sorry, after an extension letter, harf mad. So after the extension letter, we always find a letter with shadda to do al maddul lazim. But this this is the only case in al maddul lazim or the must do extension, which we don't have a letter with shadda, we only have a letter stable. That's why I put uh, the reference here that this word is happening two times in Surah Yunus and it's the only word that has this uh, specification harf mad and then a stable letter actual stable letter not just a letter with shadda and we consider the first one of these uh, letter with shadda as stable so we do al maddul lazim like here this is the, the most common one. Here, what happened is, this is an extension letter, and then we have a letter with shadda after. And a letter with shadda can be considered. The first one is stable, and the next one is lam with kasra, right? So because the first one is stable, here we have a, we have a must-do extension, or an maddu al you can see the difference between here and here. So here, this is happening a lot in the Quran, but here we all, we only have a stable letter, not shadda, in the word al-ana, and we have to do uh, these six movements in these uh, two positions. In this case, the next example, al-sakha, al-sakha. <clears throat> As we discussed, the duration or the amount of extension here depends on your speed. So if you're reciting very fast, then Ya Musa, you will say it very fast. If you're reciting very slow, then Ya Musa, then the amount of extension in as will be longer. Yeah. Same example. at all an extension letter and then we have letter with shadda after 
then we do these six movements. And then we come to one other position that we have al madul lazim which is these letters in the Quran. We call them the separated letters. And most of the extension in these letters are uh, must do. And we are going to go into that inshallah. If you don't know this, if you see it for the first time, and uh, if you know it, uh, then it's good. Uh, these are letters that uh, starting some surahs in the Quran. Uh, they don't uh, have an actual explanation. Uh, no hadith is explaining what these letters are actually meant to be. Uh, a lot of theory there, but nothing uh, confirmed. And then in these letters, this is a certain uh, sp something specific to them that you cannot have a Tajweed uh, course without learning about these letters. These letters, we do not pronounce them. We only, we pronounce the name of the letter. So if I'm pronouncing noon here, like here, this noon, I will say, Al -ana. what I did with this noon, I said, na, noon, fatha, na. But when I say this, separate letter i will pronounce the name of the letter so i will say noon qaf here i will not just say qa so i'm not pronouncing the letter itself i'm pronouncing the name of the letter this is the specification for these separate letters uh, so here we, we say that we pronounce the name of the letters here and you have these separated letters in the beginning of the surah, we pr pronounce the name of the letter, not the letter itself. Like, Hamim. What I did here, I said, I did not just pronounce Ha and Mim. I said the name of the letter, Ha, and then Mim, like this. Ha, Alif, Mim, Ya, Mim. This is what I actually pronounced. But it's written this way. And another example, but I said, I said, ta. I said, ta, and then I said, seen, and then I said, meme. Here comes the next uh, rule of this, of this, to these letters that we should apply the Tajweed rules. Idram, ikhfa, qalqala, any of these rules. Uh, magnification, simplification. We should apply all these rules to these letters. So when I say when I say mim, what I did here, I found noon sakina and then meme after. As you remember, noon sakina and then meme after this called idram birunna. It's called merging with tone. That's why it becoming this way. I completely. Uh, ignore the noon here and I say the meme with stone so it will be yeah so we in this separated letters we apply the tajweed rules here is it clear so far do you have any question regarding the last part so we started with the must do extension, al maddul lazim. We give some examples, and then something actually goes under al maddul lazim, which is these uh, separate letters. So I thought it would be a good uh, time to talk about them in details. So we said we pronounce the name of the letter, not the letter itself, and we said that we should apply the tajweed rules here, idram, ikhfa, qalqala. Then come this table, which is actually the key to all of these separate letters. So we have, in number, we have 14, 14 separate, separate letters in the Quran. Some of them uh, need to be extended. Some of them need not be extended. And uh, some of them uh, has different extension amounts. So this table actually is actually making a summary of all the separate letters in the Quran. Yeah. 
we can uh, divide them into four categories. The first one has the letter Aleph. The second one has the letters of the word Hayyun Tahir or Hayyun Tahar. The third one, the letters of the word Sanaqussu Lakum. And the fourth one is the letter Ain. The one, and here we have five, and here we have seven, and then we have one. So these are the 14 letters divided into four sections. You don't need to memorize this. You only need to be, uh, memorize the explanation. So once you are pronouncing one of these, you can know if you do extension or not. So here, how to say these letters? So with Alif, you say Alif. Is Alif has any extension letter? Hamza, and then Lam, and then Fa. Alif. You don't have any extension letter here. You don't have Alif or Wow or Ya yeah, and a letter before them that has the same movement. We don't have this in the word Alif. That's why we have no extension here. There is no extension in Alif. When you go to the next category, which is Ha, Ya, Ta, Ha, Ra, we don't say Ha, we don't add this Hamza at the end. We don't say ha, ya. So Arab people can say the letter ha in two ways. Ha with hamza at the end. So this a uh, at the end. Ha. Or you can say it ha. No hamza at the end. Ya, ta, ha, ra. So no hamza at the end. And this is the way that they were recited and they were and came to us this way. So here you don't say ha. Here when you go here you don't say ha meem. No, you say ha meem. Ha meem. See how I pronounced ha. And here in these five uh, letters, you have every one of them has an extension letter in it, which is the alif, and before it a letter in the same sign. So it's a normal extension here ha ya ta ha ra here you don't do more than normal extension so if i'm going to say ta seen i will say ta seen so here the ta itself does not have any more than normal extension i will just say ta seen because seen has extension it will come in the next category but ta itself does not have an extension letter in it. Same thing with ha, same thing with ta, seen, mim, same thing with ya, seen. So we don't make more than normal extension in ya. We don't say ya, seen. No. We only say here two movement ya, seen. Then we come to the third category, which is the letters seen, noon, qaf, sod, lam, kaf, mim. As you can see here how to say them, you will always find an extension letter. In these, in these seven letters, you will always find an extension letter. And then what's after is a stable letter after. So here the noon is stable because you say seen. So I stopped at the noon. This is a stable letter. And then before it, an extension letter. And what happens when you have an extension letter and then a stable letter after? You must do you must do the extension here, six movements. So here in the scene, noon, qaf, sad, lam, kaf, mim, these seven letters, you will always do six movements. And the type of extension here is must do. You see how we reach this point. I, I don't need to memorize these. I just need to say it. If I find uh, an extension letter with nothing after, then I will do two movements. If I find extension letter with a stable letter after, then I do six, mo six movements. So that's why I told you, you don't need to memorize this. Just from the pronunciation of the letter, you can see if you do two movements or six movements. That's why in these seven letters, you will have this sign. This sign is the extension sign. That means that's more than normal. So sad, you will find this Y because sad is here. Sad, alif, dal, then sad. This is an extension letter, then dal. 
this means that this is a must do extension then you need to do six movements here you need to say sod sod and the extension amount is the same amount of saying the word yeah musa yeah is this clear so far do you have any questions and then come uh, to the last category here is the letter ein and the letter ein actually has a letter that we talked about but it is not a moving a regular uh, sorry it's not an extension letter or half mad it's not a regular one because it's yeah and then before it fatha if you remember yeah or wow and before then fatha we called them soft letters so ein is the only one of these 14 letters that has a soft letter and then a stable letter after just take it for now because next lesson we're going to discuss soft letters and a, a, a type of extension called the soft extension medulin here but we'll not discuss it this time just take it now four or six movements and the preferred way is to do it six movements so you can make it actually into this so you can make ain the same extension uh, as seen, noon, qaf, sad, lam, kaf, meme, if you don't want to confuse yourself. Yeah? And ayn comes here and comes here. So this will be, uh, I will say the extension, then I will say uh, the pronunciation. So this one is a normal extension, two movements. This one is, uh, this one is a must do one, lazim. So six movements, and these three are into these. Uh, eight letters so these three I will do six one of them can be four or six so Ayn can be a little bit shorter but it's preferred to do six way as well so I will say these four with six movements and this one with two movements this will be Hamim if you notice that Ain at the end has known Sakina, Ain has known Sakina, and then Seen is after this known Sakina. Known Sakina, and after it's Seen, this will be Ikhfa. So I will say Ain and then Noon, and then Qaf after. Qaf is what? Ikhfa. So it will be See, I did not pronounce the seen, uh, the noon at the ayn, at the end of ayn, and the noon at the end of seen. I hide them into seen and into qaf. If you write ayn, ayun, ya, noon, and seen, seen, ya, noon, and qaf, like here, if you write it this way, you will clearly see the ikhfa between the noon sakina and the seen and the noon sakina and the qaf. This is all I want to say in this part. If you have questions, please let me, let me know. So this is the information you need to know about this section, al maddul lazim and an extra information about the separate letters, uh, which is good to know. Now we go to the second one, al maddul wajib and we go to line 71 in this poetry. He said, وَوَاجِبٌ إِنْ جَاءَ قَبْلَ هَمْزَةٍ هَمْزَةِ مُتَّصِلًا إِنْ جُمِعَ بِكَلِمَةِ It said that if the extension letter came before Hamza in the same word. So the definition is this. Al-Maddul Muttasil, or the continuous extension here, this is the type of the extension in Al-Wajib. The type, it means, it's, it's, uh, the name is Al-Muttasil, the continuous. If you connect two things with each other, that means they are Muttasil. So, Al-Maddul Muttasil, this means that there is a Hamza after the extension letter in the same word. So if I have extension letter, then I have Hamza after in the same word, this called al maddul Muttasil. And this extension has four or five movements. That's why 
it's here in al-wajib. If you remember, al-wajib means that you have to do more than normal, but the, the amount is actually changing. That's why we have four or five. Four or five movements for this type of extension. We'll take an example to make it easier. So what's the definition that we have Hamza after the extension letter in the same word? This is the uh, criteria for having the, the continuous extension. And here is an example. So we have harf mad here, alif and before it fatha, and we have Hamza after. So here we, we do four or five movements. We say, abaikum. Abaikum. Here you cannot say normal extension. You can say abaikum. Not good. Don't make this one like this one. This one does not have a hamza after. So this one is normal. But this one has hamza after. So it follows this one. It follows al maddul muttasil four or five movements. Another example as sama extension letter and Hamza after in the same word. Just remember in the same word. That's why it's called muttasil, connected in the same word. Here, extension letter and then Hamza in the same word. Ha umu. Here, same thing. Sa il. Here, this letter is silent. Yeah, then we have kasra, then ya, and then Hamza. Ya before it kasra means this is an extension letter because ya and before it kasra. And then we have Hamza. These all the same word. So this is also maddu muttasil. Wajia. Wajia. Yeah, same thing. An extension letter and then Hamza. Ila. Hunafa. Here, ya, and before it, kasra, and then after it, hamza. That means this is mad muttasil because an extension letter and then hamza in the same word. See abihim. Here with wow, this is the only example we have with wow. This is wow, and before it, tamma. This is an extension letter, and then we have hamza in the same word. So this is mad muttasil. Su. So this is all you need to do. You need to know in the mad muttasil or the continuous extension. So this part is done. This is the only uh, type in this section. And then we go to the next line in this poetry said waja izun. So here we are here in this section now. Ida ata munfasila. So this leads us to this type of extension. So we will not go forward, we'll just take this part. Uh, to know the next type, it's called al maddul munfasil It's actually similar to this one, but the two letters, the extension letter and Hamza, are not in the same word. That's why it's called munfasil. Munfasil means separated. In Arabic, munfasil means separated. So if there is an extension letter, at the end of a word and the Hamza at the beginning of the next word. Uh, the question said, you don't pronounce the Ya or Wow when it has a squiggly line over it. I can assume that squiggly line is this one, the this sign. So this sign, means that we have med here that you need to do med more than normal so i will i will pronounce them but i will do extension what we are discussing now is how to, how much we do this extension so yeah wow or alif can have this sign so this sign is the med sign or the extension sign but as we discussed before, this is not the only, uh, so you, you can do extension only if you see this sign. But if you see it, for sure, this is an extension. And now we are discussing uh, by how much 
what is the amount you need to extend if you see it. So if you see a yeah here and you see a med sign, this means that this should need to be uh, extended, need to have more time to say it. Yeah, I hope I can answer the question. So here will be C A, not just yeah, C A B him, not just yeah. You need to extend here, and then the same thing with wow. So, so, yeah. So not just wow, but it's an extended version. That's what this sign mean. Yeah, is it clear? And then we continue in the, the separated extension. So what's the difference between the continuous and the separated? We both, uh, they both have the extension letter. They both have Hamza, but one of them, the Hamza and the extension letter in the same word. And the second one, the Hamza and the extension letter in separate words. Yeah. So why they are in the, I get it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So why? Um, why we have them in separate sections? Why is this one in al-wajib and this one in al -jay? They are similar to an extent. They both has an extension letter and Hamza. They both, uh, they both are needed to be extended, but the only difference is these are in the same word like a sama so this is the same word, and these are in different different words. Yeah. Why is that? Because this one can be like normal extension. That's why it follows al -jais. That's why it's in this section and not in this section. So this means that this kind of extension can be said as a normal extension, like here. So here we have illa. So illa, this is alif and before it. Fatha, uh, so this is an extension letter. And then we have Hamza after. But the Hamza is not like here, like Si'a or Su or Sa'il. It's not in the same word, it's in the next word. So this one is called a separated extension. And this one, if you choose, you can say it like the normal one. You can just say, Illa an, Illa an. So just do two movements here. But if you choose to do four movements, you have to do it the whole way. Yeah, we will come to that note uh, after. For now, I just need to make sure that you know the difference between the continuous and the separate, because this is very common. So the continuous, we have extension letter and Hamza in the same word. The separate is we have this, uh, an extension letter and Hamza, but they are in different words. So here you can make the choice to not uh, extend more than normal. You just say, you can say it like the normal one. إِلَّا أَنْ وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ What I did now, I did like four, I did four movements. وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ But if I want to do two movements, I will say وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ I will not do more than normal extension here because it's possible to do when we have al maddu al munfasil or the separated extension. We, when we have an extension letter and the hamza in the next word, not in the same word, we can just neglect this sign and say the normal extension. This is an option in this case. Uh, of course, this only applies when we continue, right? Because this one, it's the same word, so you cannot stop in the middle of the same word, but this one, you can stop here. If if I stopped at uh, if I stopped here, I will just say so this will be two movements. I will not extend, but once I go forward, I will do four or five. I can do four or five or just stay at two. I can say this is the two. I can say if I'm going forward. But if I'm stopping, I will not do extension, of course. Another note here, we have the, this is also very common, the words ha and ya. The words ha and ya in Arabic uh, are used to call someone. 
So these are separate words, but they need to be said. Uh, we, then if you want to call someone, you can just say, if I want to uh, call Abdullah. So I will say, Ya Abdullah in Arabic. I cannot just say, Ya and stop and then say Abdullah. I cannot, it, it will not have any meaning at this point. Although they are two different words, but they need to be said like after each other. If I am calling someone, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, I cannot, I cannot just say Ya yeah, and then say ayyuha alladheena amanu. Do not make sense at this point. Uh, here I can stop at Qulu and then I stop if there is like stopping sign as we discussed before and then I can go forward because they are two separate letters, uh, words, two separate words. But here we have ya, yeah, which is nida or calling in Arabic. This is the tool of calling, ya. Yeah. And then ayyuha, I need to say them after each other, but you need to take care that they are two separate. So they are not following this one. They are following this one because they are, at the end of the day, they are two separate words. You can, you need to say it, uh, to say them uh, after each other to make sense, but they are two separate words. So here, ha and ya, you need to do mad munfasil. If you choose here to do two movements, then do not do any more extension here. Just do two movements here as well, because they are the same category, the same type. Yeah, so here it will be, ya ayyuha, ya ayyuha, if, I'm doing four. If I'm doing four movements, it will be ya ayyuha. Same thing, ya adam. This is two movements. If I want to do four or five, I will say ya adam. Same thing with ha. So ya and ha are same thing. Ha ula. The difference in the meaning is ha is used to point at something. So ha'ula, so I'm pointing at them. But ya is used to call. Ya fulan, so I am calling someone. Ha and ya are separate words, but they need to be said. The, the word after need to be said with them. That's why there is no separation here in ha and ya. But you need to treat them as two separate words. So it will be ha'ula. Here, at this one, we have two type of extension. Both type of extension are here. So the first one between two words, ha and ula, this one is separated. But when we come to this one, this is the same word. Ula is one word. And you have an extension letter and then hamza after. This follows the continuous extension. So even if you here choose to not do more than normal, here you have to to do so it will be this one can be done two movements but this one cannot yeah you understand what i'm, uh, I'm saying i hope so uh, if you have questions something not clear please let me know because it can be a little confusing uh, yeah i didn't understand that uh, what you just said the two extensions next to each other so, uh, yeah, we need to concentrate on this ha'ula, yeah? Ha'ula, we said ha is one word, but it's connected to the next word because I cannot say ha and stop. I cannot stay, say ya yeah and stop. It, it doesn't have any meaning, the word ya. Yeah. I have to say something after ya, yeah, but oh, okay, it's, yeah. it's a separate word. But when it comes to ula, this is, this is actually one word, so ula, one word. So it does not follow this rule, the separated extension. It follows this one, the continuous extension. So here you have, in this one, you have to do four or five movements, but in this one, you can choose to not do four or five. You can just do two, which is the normal one, yeah? So here, if you choose to do normal, it will be ha ula, ha ula means that this one is normal in this case, but this one cannot be normal. This one have to be extended. Yeah. Same thing with the example with ha antum. So ha antum is two different 
words. You have to treat them as different words. Yeah. This is just a note at the end. If you have a madul muttasil, you did four movements. You need to do this al madul munfasil four. So if you choose this one four, you need to do this one four. Uh, if you did not choose this one as well. Yeah, someone saying something. So if you did this one four, this one, you can do two, of course, but if you choose to extend, if this one four, do this one four, this one five, if you did it more than four, then choose to do this one five. Don't separate between them. Between them. This one uh, only has the option to do normal and don't do extension at all. We always uh, uh, try to do that in the Salat al-Taraweeh in Ramadan because it's long uh, uh, Salah and we don't need people to get tired. So we prefer to do two movements here in al al Munfasil just to make the recitation faster. So this option is very good when you uh, have like a lot of people praying in the same mosque and you don't need someone to get tired. So people choose that in al al Munfasil a lot, but you need not to mix between them not to get this one wrong because this one need to be done all the time. Yeah. So this is the summary for what we had so far. We had three last time. We had three this time. Al-Maddul Lazim, an extension letter and a stable letter after. Then we do six movements. Al-Muttasil, extension letter and Hamza in the same word. And then we do four or five. Uh, Al-Munfasil, we have extension letter and Hamza, separate words like Wafi and Fusikum, and then we can do two, four, or five movements. Uh, let me just stop the rec uh, recording and then we uh, will